um, to getting back to the guy that was on the um, page. So yeah, I braided my own hair <laughs> until my daughter get to it. See, see, I can braid, but you know my injuries prevent me from really braiding. But anyway, um, this this is an ongoing thing. When I went down there to uh, Atlanta, uh, I followed my daughter for number one. My, my daughter's father brought, talked her into going to Atlanta. And uh, we have people down there. I have cousins that live in Atlanta. My cousin Carl's children live in Atlanta. His ex-wife, I don't even know if he's divorced from the girl. But he, he has a, uh, I guess they were talking about, they had a, a, a um, when I was in um, the nursing home in New Jersey, Elizabeth, New Jersey, my aunt worked there. And her two sons used to come to the, her, her sons and her daughters came to visit me. And he was telling me, Carl was telling me about him, you know, he, he had a, 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 a record label or something him and his son had started, but at the time, I didn't know, I don't know, uh, Carl's children, but, um, he, he more like kind of showed up on the scene and, um, uh, but I knew that I had my lyrics library, uh, at my sister Tina's house in a black and red bag. And, um, wait, go, go back over there. Granny doing something. Okay. Now, um, went prior to, my sister Sharon, I, uh, my sister Sharon did all of my paperwork while I was in the hospital. And from the hospital, they took me to the nursing home to get more therapy to start, you know, standing on my legs and stuff. In this, um, I don't know if my sister Sharon showed these people my lyrics work. Because I had books and books and books and books of lyrics. You know, like I said, the Holy Spirit gives me... The writing ability to to write music uh, lyrics and stuff like that now this was in 2005 okay um, from 2005 I don't know next thing I know I don't know if um, she because it was four weeks I was in the hospital Trinidad Hospital and then from there I had went to um, the nursing home um, it was called um, Elizabeth Plaza um, rehabilitation center and um my my aunt ida and she worked there as a rn she was a rn and my uncle manny he rode the bus you know the senior citizen bus so um i don't know if my work was showed because none of my stuff was copyrighted but i had put it in a bag for safekeeping you know um i couldn't do anything you know right then and there but uh, my my sister Sharon knew that I had this material because I had this material in Michigan. I started writing more lyrics in Michigan when I was in the nursing home or Powers Nursing Home. So I I just when I packed up my stuff and I brought it to when I brought it to um, New Jersey with me uh, these bags I I started writing through the whole year because I was only down there for a year. And I had accumulated all these books with lyrics and stuff. So um, it was left in my sister's house, you know, uh, with all of my other stuff, my, my clothing and stuff like that. And I don't know, you know, being that my sister Tina was kind of, she had dementia and stuff like that. And my sister Shan lived right next door to her. And is uh, she lived apartment 1B, Shan lived apartment 1A. So I don't know if my sister sat there and... Um, gave my stuff to someone to produce like record labels or but um her lover for 20 24 years 25 years um knows Whitney Houston she was a she was an employee of Whitney Houston's the Houston family the Brown in the Houston because Bobby Brown is his name is Brown so um doing this proceed doing this thing Bobby Brown I mean not Bobby Brown Shelly worked for me as a home health care person Shan said that she was certified. Now I can, I can uh, get documentations to see if she was certified to be a CNA. If she was not certified to be a CNA, then it was already set up for them to steal my material 
and take it and give it to whoever they was going to give it to and make money off of it. It has already been set up, plotted. So this was in 2005, but I was already writing Miss Cece since 2003 and sending her letters and asking her to pray for me. And I've been sending her lyrics and asking her for her opinion. So I don't know if Miss Cece passed my stuff to her brother, uh, Marvin, or Bibi. I don't know. But during this, this, during this arrangement, I never once asked, you know, I just asked for her opinion. And my thing was, she never wrote me back, you know. Uh, her secretary never even wrote me back. So all of a sudden, she has a manager, she has a secretary. But these people got on, when I, when I got on her community page, my niece Dana, friend, which was, all of them is gay. My niece Dana is gay. She's bisexual or whatever. And she had this this friend of hers. And they monitored um, the CC Winans um, page because they knew that I was a fan of CC Winans. But my sister Shan knew that I was a fan of CC Winans because I used to, that's all I played since I was a little girl. I mean, you know, since I was a little girl. So 9 out of 10, this community must have started getting built. I guess the gay community or something like that. But I don't know. Wikimedia, PDA, or whatever. So um, this must have transformed when I was in the hospital. So uh, now let me fast forward to 2011. Okay, 2011, 2010, I moved back to, I was in a wheelchair then. But 2010, I was out of the wheelchair and I moved back to New Jersey to, uh, so that my daughter can get a feel of New Jersey where her mother was raised at. And I wanted her to graduate in, to, uh, in New Jersey. So she graduated in North Plainfield, um, uh, North Plainfield High. So um, the home of the Canucks, you know. So um, so this is what uh, I fast forwarded. Then I continued to bring, I continued to write. So during this time when I was writing, uh, I tried to restart my studio in my apartment, which meaning that uh, I was trying to look for a home, though. I was trying to look for a house. But I, I wanted to rent some space where that my studios can be, you know, together. So uh, uh, not only that I've written some, um, I, I've written cartoon work, I've written um, TV sitcoms and stuff like that. So, so not... You know, uh, uh, this has been an ongoing harassment with the family because of my spiritual gift. You know, this is truly a spiritual gift because God said, uh, uh, when you are saved, he said, all things will be added unto you. And it is a spiritual gift. And um, I don't know how many people in my family has the spiritual gift, but um, this has been an ongoing thing with my family members. It's a battle. You know what I'm saying? Or who who could do better than who? You know what I'm saying? But I never had to worry about uh, competition. Wait a minute. Um.